Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to play with Adobe Illustrator and we're going to create a mandala maker. It's super easy, so let's get started. First, let's create a new document. I prefer a square format for my mandala maker. I'm going to choose my 19 by 19. You can do any size that you like. Very first thing is we need a pair of lines. So let's grab our line segment tool. We're going to hit the shift and drag. Oops, a little too far there. Bring that back into focus. And then we're going to do a second one on the horizontal, just like so. Then we're going to select them both. We're going to align to the artboard, center, center. And now we have our six by six quadrants or whatever size those are. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is with both of them selected, we're going to go to layers. Okay. And right here at the end, there's a little circle. It says click to target. So we're going to click that. It is a definite must. Then we're going to effect, distort and transform, transform, and we're going to skip all the stuff at the top and go straight to rotate. I found that 30 degrees is a good rotate for this. And then number of copies. Number of copies means how many times you want that same image to repeat itself. Today, I'm going to play with 15. Definitely, as you work with this, try different, different numbers there and see what, what it looks like for you. We're going to click OK. And now we have this here. Now before I get started, I'm going to actually lock this layer. And then I'm going to duplicate it. That way there, I'm going to turn that one off. I'm going to unlock this top one. And every time, say like I'm working away, I'm doing, you know, whatever. And I'm like, oh, I hate it. I can delete it. Okay. But I don't have to redo those first set of steps. I can just go to duplicate, turn that on, and voila, I can get back to drawing. Now, the fun thing about this is because it duplicates, you're only drawing the line once. And this is important information. Say like you're using your paintbrush, your pen tool, and you want to get rid of something you're, you're not quite liking how it looks. You can't select it here, okay? It's not going to work. It's only going to work where you drew it. So we can hit the delete button, find out that I drew it there. I cannot select it anywhere else. It is only right there. Very easy peasy. It does highlight blue if you're trying to find it amongst a bunch of stuff. Okay, see there it's highlighted blue because maybe, and I do this so I know you, you visually see it one way, but you're thinking, oh, it would be neat if this came off this way. Okay, well, as you're moving along, you're like, oh, which one was that again? All you got to do is hover and it will show you where it's at. Okay, and I don't know if you can see, but I'm hovering over this one, but this one's lighting up blue. Okay. So see here, I'm hovering over this one. It's showing up over here as blue. So you just got to kind of look around for what's closing in on what, if, if that makes sense. Before we finish, we, we decide we like the pattern. Before we finish, we want to tidy up our lines. Like right here, it loops out and it's not a nice connection right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my line and I'm going to highlight it. Now I'm going to zoom in to maybe 150, whatever you need. Okay. Now we're going to grab our direct selection tool. This is our second arrow over here. And you notice as soon as you click it, the line we had highlighted develops little nodes. Those little nodes are our anchor points and will um, path points. Now, when you click on them, it also pulls out little handles. Those little handles will help you bend and twist and do what you need. I'm going to grab this little anchor 
and drag it right into this line and see now it's fixed on every instance of that okay and I'm seeing that I don't like this here and I know that one is right up here so I'm gonna grab this I'm gonna back it up just a little bit I don't like how that is so I'm gonna drag it down just a hair I'm gonna go check this out now you see these teeny little bits you can leave them but if you're doing foiling or die cutting with your Cricut silhouette whatever if you have these teeny weeny little spots okay your machine's going to try to cut them out it's not gonna know that oh we don't need that so we want to close off any teeny weeny spots we don't want teeny weeny and then we're just gonna kind of look at it and you don't have to look at it everywhere just in a couple of spots because that's all that you can adjust so we're gonna zoom back out to 50% or less let's try 33 there we go now we're going back to our selection tool the top one we're going to click out because remember we had that one still highlighted we're going to click out here pull and drag to capture everything at this point you cannot copy and paste this file new just give you an example We'll go back to this. Everything is selected. We do edit, copy. We go over here and we say edit, paste. And all it shows is the lines we drew. And that's not what we want. We want a whole flower. So edit, undo the paste, come back over here. We need to merge this. In order to do that, we have everything selected. Go to object, expand appearance. Now everything has turned blue. Go straight over here to the Pathfinder Unite. If you do not have Pathfinder open, you can find it in Window, Pathfinder, okay? And so we're going to select that Pathfinder. And as you can see, it removed the guidelines. It already knew that, hey, we don't want that there. Let's get rid of it. Now, if you notice, I think that is just a teeny little thing. Let me double check. We're going to pop this into a 400 and we know that that little teeny dot is um, not supposed to be there. So I've grabbed my direct selection tool and I've clicked on that dot. Okay. I'm going to hit delete until those blue dots go away. Now, when I save this as an SVG, the Cricut will not try to cut that little teeny weeny dot out. So this is a perfect image to create, to create a SVG with. We're going to zoom back out and you can be done. This, oops, don't do that. Edit, undo, move. Because I had the direct selection tool and a piece of it highlighted, it tried to move it. So I'm going to grab my regular arrow, select the image and now because it is one image you don't have to do a running select so you grab it you can edit copy edit paste and you have this beautiful flower and what I do is I have the mandala maker so I will save this file save I'm going to go into my documents. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where I have templates. And this one would be, let me clear that out, Mandala 15. Now this means it's going to have 15 slots. Because you have a Mandala maker here, it has less slots. So Mandala 15, save. Now I've got my second one open and then we're going to file and we're going to save this one for all of the flowers that we make. We're going to copy and we're going to paste them into this new file. So we're going to save this one and this one is going into my documents and I have a specific one for florals. So I can do that and then I can do flowers and then 15 and then I know that I made these flowers with the mandala 15 they'll be paired and then I will hit save 
So then I can lock that layer, pop in a new one, turn that one off, come over here, delete this whole layer, just like so. Yes, we know there's an image on it, we don't care. Then we're going to layer one, see that right there? We're going to duplicate it one more time. We're gonna turn it on, we're gonna open it up, we're going to click on it, we're going to grab our brush or pen, Let's do the pen tool because we can use whatever we want to make these. And I'm not sure where that's going. <laughs> and if you don't like it, come on, can I finish that line? finish it like that. Okay, if you don't like it, just toss it out. Yep, the whole thing. File, or that little lines right there, duplicate, turn it on, open it, grab your pen tool, and let's try this again. I think it was being weird because I actually um, clicked on the line. Okay, so now we can see that crazy looking thing. And maybe we are gonna go back to the brush and we're gonna make sure it's on the five point. We're gonna make it a little bit thinner. Well, a lot thinner. And then maybe it needs something right there. something a little crazy okay we're going to say we like it we're going to grab everything we're going to object expand appearance pathfinder unite <laughs> now that was very interesting because we used the pen tool and closed it it gave us this very interesting design. Now this will be great for foiling because we have this gorgeous black area to foil and then this super delicate line right here. And I like it. I don't know. It's weird, but I like it. So we're going to copy and then we're going to post it over here. Edit, paste. And even though it's probably not quite a flower, I'll know where to find it. So then I'm going to go to layers, I'm going to lock it, turn it off, and add another one so that I can come back over here and throw that whole thing out. Yes. And then duplicate. Turn it on and go again. It's that easy, my friends. If you like the content you saw today and are interested in more little videos about Adobe Illustrator, please hit the like and comment below. If there's something specific you'd like to see, also comment and I will try my best to make a video for you. I do appreciate it and thank you. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.